Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This Monday evening, for more than 24 hours now, there have been raging reports that Daoud Ibrahim has been poisoned in Karachi. There have been Pakistani journalists, Pakistani media saying that Dawood was poisoned and then he had to be taken to a Karachi hospital. There have also been reports that the entire floor of the Karachi hospital has been cordoned off to protect Dawood Ibrahim. Our sources are making the claim that Dawood is being guarded by top ISI and Pakistani army personnel. After all, Dawood is Pakistan's worst kept secret. It's been 24 hours despite these rumours raging, there has not been a single statement of denial or confirmation by the Pakistani government, by the Pakistani army or the ISI. Ladies and gentlemen, for a country who minutes after Benazir Bhutto's assassination started spinning theories about how that was an accident, there has been radio silence by the Pakistanis. But then, but then, what else can Islamabad do? When this entire situation literally puts them between a rock and a hard place, First, if they admit that Dawood has been poisoned, they would have swallowed the obvious reality before the world, given how they have given sanctuary to this globally most wanted terrorist, given sanctuary to Osama. A denial would affirm exactly the same thing. So Pakistan is in a soup, but this entire panic mode, this posing attempt has thrust Pakistan into from internet shutdowns to social media clampdowns to gagging journalists. They've gone crazy over the last 24 hours, the Pakistanis. The entire Pakistani establishment has been about gagging the journalists, putting pressure, internet shutdowns, gag the information flow. And my question is, how is gagging the information flow? Trying to stop people across the world from knowing what the reality is about Dawood, going to help them strengthen their own position because they are battling a lost cause. Because of their venom, because of their short-sightedness. The greatest, the greatest achievement of Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen. The way it looks at itself, for Pakistan, its greatest achievement is A, giving sanctuary to Osama, B, giving sanctuary to Dawood. It's a matter of time before we go in. And as they say in Hindi, ghar mein ghus kar maata. It's a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen. Like they couldn't save Osama, they tried so hard. They put him up in a fortress. They put him right next to their Pakistani army base to make sure he was protected. But could they protect him? No. The Americans went there, destroyed the base, killed Osama and embarrassed the hell out of the liars that the Pakistanis are. I know and I'm absolutely convinced that that is what we will also do. But today, 24 hours, that the Pakistanis themselves spread the news. Islamabad better tell the world whether Dawood Ibrahim, the terrorist with the blood of 250 people in the 1993 blast, is dead or alive. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a big story starting with because according to reports, India's most wanted has been poisoned. Hospitalized say, some say are saying he's struggling for his life. Some say he was dying anyway. Some say the end has become quicker. It's craziness, ladies and gentlemen. The Dawood. The Dawood Dead or Alive debate. That's in a few minutes. Debate number two this evening. Kejriwal, 21st of December, is another fresh date with the enforcement directorate in Liquorgate. Last time he didn't go saying, I'm too busy with the elections. I think this time he'll be forced to go. We'll see what happens then. And debate number three, 92 members of parliament suspended. As a shutdown over parliament attack continues, that big political debate at 10.30 p.m. And here are the headlines. Here are the